Hi, my name is Devin Campbell uh, with Sailor Jack Snack Shack in Westport, uh, and this is 7 over 7. Farmers. Um, my grandpa was a farmer. Uh, I've recently befriended some farmers in my community um, out where I live in KCK. And uh, my wife and I just bought two acres of land that I'm just, I'm, I'm planning on working the soil and, and just like the insane amount of uh, hard work, dedication and knowledge uh, they have and what they provide to everybody around them. I would say farmers are really inspiring to me. Japan, the whole country, to eat. Um, <laughs> it's, it's simply that um, I, I I have I have like pockets of obsession with Japanese culture and how they do things, and I would probably spend a lot of money on knives and food. I think uh, I'd probably buy a sword. I'd, I'd, I'd probably come back, and uh, my wife would say, "Why did you spend all this money on steel?" Is probably what would happen. I'd probably be, be like 20 pounds heavier too after, after two weeks in Japan. Uh, right now, in the dead heat of summer, uh, spicy watermelon, watermelon and Korean chili. <laughs> that's that's what I want with it. Um, that wasn't a prepared answer. That was I just sipped that and I was like, damn, that'd be good. It's a watermelon right now. <laughs> cooking traditional Szechuan Chinese um, because that's what I've been way into the last like half year of my life. Um, there's this, there's a book I recently picked up called All Under Heaven um, and it's about like the 20 some different regions of Chinese cuisine and it's been my recent obsession. So that's what, that's what I'm, that and farm fresh eggs because we just got chickens. So <laughs> those are, those are what I'm cooking at home. You know, my dad, you know, used to give me drops of his, like, his, he would I, he would like finish beer, but not quite finish it. I think it was to uh, teach me how to be a man at a very young age. Um, I got into my parents' fridge when I was like, I want to say like less than 10 probably, and found out what Zima was. Uh, <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was a bad day. Um, but I think my, my first full beer was probably Coors Light, I, I think. So during the week, oftentimes I, I forget to eat uh, at work or just like I'm just, I'm, I'm working and just tasting things all day. So I have the illusion of being full and, you know, I'll work like a few days and realize I've only had like one or two meals. Um, so my guilty pleasure is Sunday night uh, in bed watching Frasier with my wife and just calorie packing um, like crazy like just junk food like I'm, I'm like fall asleep with Cheetos on your stomach like that sort of that's 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 my guilty pleasure Oreos Oreos in your mouth at 3 a.m. just feeling disgusting like you need to brush your teeth like immediately yeah yep <laughs> I'm glad we have this on camera now It would be uh, the, the recently uh, departed Anthony Bourdain uh, for his insight on drinking culture alone. Uh, every, every place you could possibly imagine from, you know, the best distilleries to just any sort of moonshine, uh, any, any <laughs> janky still random thing from a random country. Uh, I think he'd be a great drinking buddy.